All right, time for some video documentation of my three-phase inverter prototype. We've got uh, A phase, B phase, C phase. Uh, what I'm using is here's a half bridge that I built up. Underneath, I've got an IGP, IGBT half bridge, uh, 100 micro farad film cap. 12 volt to 24 volt isolated supplies for the gate drivers. Uh, I got an Allegro current sensor here. I was experimenting with an RC uh, snubber circuit. Worked pretty good. Isolated gate drivers. Uh, differential amplifier for the current. And then I put three of those together. A little breakout board. And then I'm using a, a TI uh, experimental kit. To Delfino, I think it's a 28379. It's dual core, but I don't know what the dual, I don't know how to use the other core yet, but it's got four independent A to D, so the peripherals on it are much nicer. I was using this uh, Arduino Dewey. I'm considering using this other TI launch pad, but right now I've got the, the 28379 Delfino working. I'm using all four analog inputs simultaneously. Two of them sample the phase B and phase C currents and then the other two I'm sampling the sine cosine uh, output from this motor. This motor is a Mod Energy 1507. It's 100 volt 10 pole permanent magnet motor so you get five electrical cycles per mechanical revolution. Um, it puts out a sine cosine quadrature signal for once per revolution. Uh, the, my inverter is designed for 300 volt, 30 amp is what I'm shooting for. I'm using these are 90 amp IGBTs. Spec sheet says 90 amps at 80 degrees C, but that's to be seen. Uh, yesterday I just plugged in this this dynamometer. It's quite loud. I haven't hit all the buttons yet, so I'm going to try to demonstrate what I know about it so far. And we're going to load the motor. But right now I'm running the uh, Code Composer Studio here. And um, let me turn it on and see if we can spin the motor up. I'm going to type in a, a throttle here. Put some current in there. You'll see the motor start to spin. It should spin up. I don't have any load with the dyno on yet. I haven't turned it on. When I do turn the dyno on, it's uh, very loud. You can see it's airing out right now with low airflow. So the fans are so loud, I haven't turned it off right now. This is not quite right with my measurements here. I have no idea what's going on in the scope here. That was not like that. Second ago. Oh, ground, ground clip came off. There we go. So on my scope, the uh, the green trace is for this current sensor measuring a current. The yellow trace is output from the DAC representing what my current sensor is telling me the phase A current is, and the pink line is the phase A duty cycle. Uh, the cyan blue line is just my DC voltage. My DC voltage right now is 90 volts. So I'm using this other power supply set at 90 volts. So if I increase on the debug screen here, if I change my current, let's say 500, it spins a lot faster. It may even go up to the max. Yep, they went up to 2,000 RPM and then shut down. So I have that set. Now I'm going to turn on the dynamometer and, and limit the speed. And we'll put some more, um, more power through this. If I'm torque controlled without some resistance on the speed, it'll just... I guess the motor is um, expected 4,000 RPM at 100 volt. But this is just a low wattage test right now. Primarily just to see how my IGBTs handle 
and my code that I'm still work in progress on the TI chip. I don't have any of the thermistors hooked up yet, but I did run an experiment on the one half bridge with the thermistor on the IGBT built in, and I was getting about a 10 degree C difference between the thermistor and the uh, heat sink. So I got a little bit of airflow coming through the um, heat sink here, it keeps it nice and cool. But so now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the the dyno. So be prepared for very loud fans. I mean crazy loud. Okay. So I'm going to spin that up. Okay, that's a good first test for the um, this inverter. My plan is to use make a dual inverter with two motors and integrate the uh, battery charging as well. So I'm, I'm pleased with the uh, the gate drive circuits. The current sensor circuits are good. Um, even the snubber effects are, are, are pretty good. Not, not a whole lot of overshoot in the voltage so far. Maybe at 300 volts will be different. And I really like the TI uh, processor. It's quite, um, I like the peripherals, the analog is peripheral especially. Uh, PWM's good too. Um, I haven't tried the USB or other uh, features. I think it's got a little micro memory card on this thing, which I haven't tried yet. So next video is I'm gonna add the um, temperature sensors, get those working so that I can do full power and have it automatically derate itself uh, to protect itself. That's all I got for now, thank you.